Let me show you the interface on an AI software called Gen, and the web address is genmusic.ai, but it is in beta stage. I'll just show you what you can do with a free account at first glance, and you can decide for yourself if you want to sign up. So Gen has some really interesting features. They are marketed as an ethically trained AI model. It has numerous editing features right inside the program, and it creates the tracks really quickly. So there's some cool features inside of this program that uh, would be worth looking at. I'm just going to use the free plan, and then you can just jump right in and make music. So let's go do that. So let's go to the sign up page. In the upper right hand corner, hit sign up. Enter your email, and it will prompt you to read the terms and conditions. Now I'm not a lawyer, so I suggest you read through it before you sign up. So to finish making your account, you would click that you read the terms and conditions, check the CAPTCHA box, and then hit agree. And then your account is made and you will be in the interface. It will show you tips on how to make your first song. Let's take a look. You can upload a track. You can put in a text prompt. So let's put in a text prompt. And just to make this easy to compare with what we've done in Suno in other videos, I'll put in uh, generate a dance pop track in the style of Dua Lipa and make it an instrumental. It doesn't look like you generate lyrics with this program and that's fine. We don't need any. Let's do 10 seconds. And it takes one credit to make the generation. As a free user, you get 20 credits. So first, I just want to hear what it did. I generated some more tracks and they all sounded similar. The interface is going to look a little different. If I want to generate an intro, I can do that here, but you need to have a paid account. It gives you a notice saying a novice user can't use intro. Okay, great. Let's move on to trim. So for trim, you can move these uh, arrows. It will remove the section that's not inside of these borders and trim requires a paid account. Okay, let's go back to edit and try refill. Now refill, you can set a border and adjust the sides and you can change the information that's inside of this border. So hit generate and again, that will not work with a free account. Okay, let's go to extend and say we want to extend our song. So hit generate and it will generate an extension on a free account. Let's try fade and I want to fade this section of the song out. Hit generate and it does not let you do that with a free account. And the last tool is outro. So it will generate new music as an outro for your track. And that does not work with a free account. And that's pretty much everything in the interface of a free account as far as a first look at Gen. In the examples, the quality wasn't good. So to be fair, I don't know if it was a problem on my internet connection or if that's how Gen uh, generates the tracks. So I did play this track for a few seconds and it sounded slightly better. Jen's a beta product and I'll check it out again down the road. So I hope this first look at the software was helpful. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe, share with a friend. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate that you hung out till the end and I'll see you in the next video.